What's going on guys? It's Gathalion. Welcome back to Borderlands 2 and we're here to talk about Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now not long ago I did another video called Who is Athena? And in this video I sort of outlined the backstory of Athena to the best of my ability with everything that I know about Miss Athena and I thought that I would do a similar video for Nisha or Nisha. Um, she, of course, is the Lawbringer class from Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and we do know a little bit about her future after Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Now, Nisha, of course, ends up being the Sheriff of Lynchwood, and up until now, we did not actually know her name, and it is, of course, Nisha, and she was actually Handsome Jack's girlfriend up through the storyline of Handsome Jack rising the power, yet we don't really know if Nisha was actually Handsome Jack's girlfriend um, in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, or if there ends up sort of being like the love story between her and Handsome Jack sometimes in Borderlands, the pre-sequel. We don't know much about her action skill either, though there are images of her floating around the internet where she's holding not just one pistol because she is always wielding pistols inside of uh, Borderlands 2. Um, we do see her uh, using double pistols inside Borderlands the pre-sequel. I don't think it's time to die just yet. Nisha or Nisha or whatever you want to call yourself. Now, there is a little bit of speculation inside the Borderlands community that her action skill will end up being some sort of dual wield situation, and I wouldn't put it past Gearbox and 2K Australia to bring another dual wielding class in because they did bring similar skill uh, skills, action skills between Borderlands 1 and 2. Uh, one being the uh, the turrets in between uh, Axton and Roland. They were very similar classes. So I'm thinking the Lawbringer might end up having a bit to do with Salvador, the gun zerker. But on the other side of that, there is a lot more speculation happening here where we kind of feel like maybe they won't go the exact route they did with Salvador. Again, this is completely speculation-based. Um, we kind of believe that she might have one uh, or two pistols that she pulls out during her action skill, and these will act as her action skill. So say you use her uh, Lawbringer action skill, and it will actually pull out two predetermined pistols uh, that you actually buff up as you go down her skill tree. Of course, this is purely speculation, and I can't say whether or not it's actually the truth, but it kind of makes sense because they do end up showing her with two pistols that I am flashing the one screenshot of her with two pistols, the little bit of character art, and I don't know why they would show her with two pistols unless there was a bit of dual wielding. And if you feel otherwise, please leave a, a comment in the comment section below. If you think I'm dead wrong, then go ahead and tell me why and we'll have a friendly little debate about it. I have absolutely nothing against friendly debates here. But I do feel that she will end up dual wielding, whether or not it is identical to the Gunzerker, where she uses two different uh, pistols that are actually from the game, or to any two weapons from the game. But it does sort of make more sense, and it would be easier to balance if she had her own two pistols that you change sort of the way they work with different game changer skills. That's the first and the second capstone inside the action skill tree. So maybe you, you skill down it and her pistols will become repeaters or they'll become uh, more like the Jake's, Jacob's pistols or what. Maybe they'll shoot explosive bullets or you can add different things to the pistols. I feel like this would be a cool little effect if, if her dual pistols were in fact her action skill. Once again, I do want to say I have no inside information on this and whether or not her action skills do work like this, but I thought we would go and talk about exactly who Nisha is. Again, I said she was the girlfriend of Handsome Jack and still is throughout the storyline of Borderlands 2. Of course, when you kill her, Handsome Jack does make note of, wow, you just killed my girlfriend. I guess I should be pretty mad about this. 
And I, I, you know, that that leads me to believe that maybe there is a bit of a love story between Nisha and Handsome Jack inside Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Will we end up seeing uh, characters like Deputy Winger and see the entire storyline of how Nisha comes to be in control of uh, um, Lynchwood? That is 100% uncertain. But I would like to see something like that. I would at least like to see it in a DLC. It would be really cool if the story DLCs focused on what happened to each of the new four playable playable characters in between Borderlands 1 and 2. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. This is a look back on Nisha. A look forward on Nisha, actually, because now we actually know her name. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And my next Who Is video is going to be on Mr. Wilhelm, and we're going to talk about a few facts about him. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on it, and that lets me know that you want to see more of these Who Is, Who Are, Who Who Is Be videos on um, on the Borderlands uh, playable characters for Borderlands pre-sequel. Again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here in the Borderlands.